All right, in this section, we're going to be talking about some six-tone shapes. And uh, the reason I call them six-tone shapes is because, well, they're six tones. We're taking all seven mode shapes and removing the seventh degree of the scale. Now, this doesn't change uh, the tonality of the scale, really, or its functionality. You still play it over the progression derived from each mode. Um, it's just a way that I um, develop some shapes to help students get out of a single position, uh, even more than like a 12-note split pattern. So by leaving out the seventh degree, this gives us a six-note shape that repeats every octave. Now, here's the first group of six for the G major shape, the first group of six. And because we're leaving out the seventh, we jump right to the octave. So here's the G we started on. Now, the octave of G is on the fourth string, fifth fret, but that's where the index finger is going to go. So jump up an octave. We got the exact same six-note shape. All right, and we're going to do that one more time. So here's the G that we started on on the fourth string. Here's the G that we're going to be going to. This one's on the second string, eighth fret. So as you can see, we're starting to cover some serious dis distance uh, on the guitar neck, and that's what we're trying to do. Start to get across the neck and bust out of single position playing. So here it is. And you can see that it still sounds very much like the G major scale. We just removed one note. All right, let's check it out with the backing track. Alright, this next mode we're going to be talking about is the A Dorian minor mode, starting on the 6th string 5th fret. And again, we're leaving out the 7th, so this gives us the first 6 notes of the A Dorian shape, which looks like this. Again, go to the octave. And one more time. Whoops. Again, you want to really start paying close attention to the fretboard visualization aspect of this stuff. Um, and a further analysis of this is when you take these first six notes and then you move up a, pos a position, you're really kind of borrowing again from the neighbor position, which would be B for G and minor. So there's the next six notes. So we have it here, we have it here, and the next group of six notes is really the top six notes of the C Lydian shape that we initially learned first. Six notes from the Lydian shape, six notes from the Phrygian, and the first six notes from the A Dorian pattern. So we're borrowing six notes from each uh, ascending position. I used to think about this as like cutting through my neighbor's yards to get home. You know what I mean? Because each uh, consecutive mode is the neighbor to the previous one. So so that helps me relate it and make a mental picture in my mind of what I'm actually doing and what I can relate it to. All right, so let's check it out with a backing track. All right, the next one we're going to be talking about is B for G and minor. So here's the first six notes. And again, we jump up to the octave. Here's the next. And the next group of six. So pay close attention to where each uh, consecutive group of six is coming from and what position based on a six string root shape that it's borrowing from, because this is going to be the key elements that really unlock the fretboard in your mind so that you can see the neck and begin to see the neck as a whole instead of a bunch of chopped up little sections. All 
right, on to C Lydian major. Here's the first six notes. Jump up a position or jump up to the octave. Here's the next group of six. And repeat the procedure. Some of these can be pretty tricky, especially this Lydian one, because your the fingering, you know, starts with the whole step, whole step shape, and we get the half step, whole step shape, but it's up a shape that looks like this, so it's called a flat five. Um, so every time you change strings on this Lydian one, you're moving like that, and it can be a little bit tricky. So make sure you take this stuff slow, memorize it first before you ever attempt to be, you know, really shredding with it. All right, next up is D mixolydian. Now, the cool thing about mixolydian is that it's the exact same shape as the G major shape, and the reason uh, that this happens is that the seventh degree in the mixolydian mode is the only note that's different than the G major scale. So by removing the seventh, the first six notes of D mixolydian and G major are exactly the same. So we have two shapes that are exactly the same, so you really don't have to memorize six. So here we go. Uh, go up to the octave again. Here's the next group of six. Go up to the octave again. Here's your next group of six. I really like that shape. It's, it's, uh, it's nice and easy. It's all whole steps and uh, makes playing easy. So the next one is going to be E natural minor. This one's on the six string 12th fret. Again, you take the first uh, six notes and then jump up to the octave. And then once again. The last and final one for this section is going to be F sharp, low green minor. We're starting on the sixth string, 14th fret. Here's the first six notes. Again, jump up to the octave. And one more time. All right, that's, that wraps it up for this section.